Okay, here we are back again with more Greedfall, and I think, um, Garans, no, no, uh, um, I must leave you. See you later. I'm gonna compose my team, and I hit the wrong button. Um, I think. I'm going to remove Afra, add Siora, um, maybe remove Kurt, add Vasco. Maybe. And I think I'm going to do this side mission, Inquisition. Go to the woods of San Mateus to meet with the natives. We'll see what this does. I don't know what it'll do. But it seems interesting. And I want to do, you know... Maybe, like, take a break from some of the companion stuff. And, uh... Uh, do this, do it, do another side mission instead that doesn't necessarily relate to any of the companions directly. Uh, probably drop, s try to find a couple of these campsites while I'm at it, running around out here. Because campsites are good. Oop, missed it. Uh, no, I know. No, I needed the plant that you're standing in. I'm sorry. Needed the plant, not not you. That's that's what I needed. The plant. And I also need a campsite, which I believe is here. I'll set up this campsite. Looks good. Um. All right, gonna go back this way, I think. What is this? Old logging expedition. Okay. Well, that's not what I'm trying to get to, so... Oh! Oh! I needed to do. Let's see if you can ward off this fight. Here we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um or where do I need to go? Not even sure. Uh, 
Ah, uh, here we are. Please, I come because of a message that was sent to me. Wait, this is the Ono Menawi of the Lugay the Blau, the one we wanted to talk to. Yes. I came following the instructions you had left the secretary of our embassy, but I wasn't expecting to find you near the corpse of a member of the Ordo Luminous. We were told that there was a woman different from the other Enaikse amongst the Lugayid Blau. Someone who sometimes helped our people. This is why we talked to the man in the large house. But we don't really know who you are. My name is Desade. I'm the legate of the congregation. It means that I'm in charge of the diplomacy with the other nations. And yes, I have helped your people a few times. A diplomat is someone who talks, right? Not someone who fights. That's a general I idea, myself, but... If that's your question. But will you tell me why you made me come here? Two nights ago, we attacked a group of Red Sons who were taking away some of our people. Many of them fled. But we captured this man, and we made him talk. We wanted to know where they took our brothers. Hmm. And he talked about a secret camp. Why would the Inquisition take natives to a secret camp? To confuse their minds. They torture them until they renounce the truth and praise the sun. Ah, this yeah, the conversion. Was mocking us. Fourth conversion. He said they would burn us like the others. He had killed some of my brothers. So I killed him. If what you say is true, then indeed, we cannot let the Inquisitors I mean, continue. seems but plausible. You killed them, we can only take your word for it. Maybe not. The Red Sun had a key on him, and also some words sealed in bark. We do not know how to set them free, but the Renaikse do, don't they? The letter ordered this man to join the escort party of a group of captives. This partly confirms what you told me. Do the words say where the camp is located? No, but the address of the Inquisitor is written. What is an address? This is how we refer to the place we live in. I suppose the key you found is the key to his door. So you can go to his house and look for more words? I suppose so. You must do it. Or the suns will keep burning our people. It is unbelievable to me that despite the arrest of Domitius, the Ordo Luminous is still acting in such a way. I anyway, believe it. <laughs> I will go visit this man's home. I will come back to you if I learn anything more. Religious but fanatics gonna be fanatical. May be dying in the meantime. All right, so yeah, we gotta search the house of the Inquisitor. All right. Go back to town. We'll wait for you. We can do that. Um. Like, she is shocked. Shocked! And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not surprised. <laughs> not at all surprised. <laughs> okay. Let's see where we gotta find this place. Um, we should probably make the first right here. Uh huh. Here it is. There's some loot too. Mm, loot. I wish there was a like. I haven't found it yet. Uh, if there is like um any way to increase my inventory capacity, um, because it's getting kind of obnoxious having to empty my inventory like every hour or two. <laughs> 
you know how much the Ordo Luminous dislikes the knobs. If they catch us here, I'm in big trouble. All oh, right, that's right. I forgot about that. Well, don't worry about it, Vasco. <laughs> A letter. Claudius, I wanted to congratulate you for your work and your unwavering commitment to our conversion camp project. Thanks to you and your devotion, we were able to bring many savages towards the light. Ugh. You will find some new elements and orders regarding the continuation of our operations in your chest at our headquarters. May the Enlightened protect you, Inquisitor Honorius. This letter mentions a secret camp. Apparently our man was involved in its creation. It also talks about a chest he would have had. In the quarters of the Order, here in San Mateus, we may find clues there that will allow us to discover the location of the camp. If this chest exists, there must be a key. It has to be here. Let's continue searching. Indeed. And here's it's the key. key. Most likely the key to a chest with the emblem of the Ordo Luminous. I don't think we'll find anything else here. Let's leave and see what this chest contains. Oh, look. <laughs> hey, you. Who are you? And what are you doing in Father Claudius's home? De Sarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. My colleague has been away for the last few days. May I know exactly what it is about your status as a diplomat that gives you the right to enter his home in his absence? My status is the reason why the Mother Cardinal asked me to investigate. She wants to know where Father Claudius might have disappeared to. I offered to go to his home to see if I could find some information. Hence why I'm here. Really? Well, I find that very strange. Why would the Mother Cardinal ask that some strangers who do not belong to our order try to find him? Maybe the fall from grace of your superior, Father Domitius, has something to do with it. Maybe. Who can blame the Mother Cardinal for being distrustful? I, well, uh, I'll leave you to your investigations. That's a good idea. I hope I don't see you again, Father. This man is a monster, like the other Red Sons. Did you see the way he looked at me? I'm certain that he didn't believe you. He will probably come back. We should make use of this moment of respite to go visit the quarters of the Order and find the chest there. There shouldn't be too many people left anyway, after what happened. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I suppose I can kind of go this way. And then... This way. Oop, loot. But yeah, I'm so, like... I have to loot, like, everything all the time, and the inventory capacity is just not, not cutting it. Where am I? Dead end. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there's only one Inquisition I trust. And it's not, definitely not this one. Hmm. Downstairs? Office of Inquisitor Claudius. Oh, is this it? Guess so. A letter. We hope 
that we can count on you to accept a new delivery of native heretics in our camp. We would also like you to be in charge of the conversions of the most refractory native subjects. I recommend you to follow the most discreet path possible in order to meet us, the path that goes between the rocks to the east of the city and leads to the secluded glade where we built the camp, as it is imperative that our operations remain secret for now. Thanks to these documents, we'll be able to show the natives where the conversion camp is, and the times when new prisoner convoys will get there too. I hope they'll manage to free our brothers and sisters who are prisoners. What these monsters are doing to them is horrible. I also hope this, Siora. Right. So, right, we gotta go back out of town. Meet with the natives again. I feel like it's just not gonna be that simple because nothing ever is. Excuse me. Um, but we'll see. I am back, yes. So, did you discover anything? I did. Yes, in fact. I found some information that should allow you to locate the conversion camp. And I also found a note about a prisoner convoy coming soon. Why come and tell us all of this if your intention is just to betray us? Betray you? How so? You're not the ones this so-called legate betrayed. We are. You? I have no commitment to your order. It is with Teleme that we are allied. Your nation, that you are prepared to drag into a war against the natives, with the sole purpose of converting a few of them in your torture camp, even if you have to kill all the others. This camp is our only chance to ensure that the word of Saint Matthias is respected on this pagan island. You threw my brothers in jail cells, and now you would like to put an end to our work? You are nothing but servants of the insular demons, and you will pay for your blasphemies. We will fight these monsters by your side, Onol Menawi. Yeah, you better. Take a potion if you want to cast more spells. Let's see if you can ward off this fate. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. These men were our enemy. The monsters torturing my people. Even though the Ordo Luminous's actions are atrocious, Teleme must not learn of our involvement in this matter. Our alliance could suffer. Do not worry about it. We won't tell them. Yeah, <laughs> I don't we think they'll be telling them anytime disappear. soon. Nobody will ever know what happened to them. Except for our mal, of course. Queen Derdra will be grateful to you for helping us. I hope this will help our relations in the future. In any case, do not worry about this camp. She will not let our people be imprisoned. She may even ask for your help in destroying it. Perhaps. In the meantime, please give her my regards. Bertir to mad on all Menawi. And thanks again. Sure. Sure. Happy to help. Ooh, I leveled again. Exciting. I got another attribute point, too, which is fun. Yeah, let's do that. And... 
Um, I don't know. What attribute point should I get? Willpower, probably. I need more magic. Magic! All right, cool, 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 cool. So I did that. Um, trouble in Eden, right, right. Well, I suppose I should probably go back and talk to Petrus, even though he did a very bad thing. Suppose he wants to apologize for it again. Maybe even help me out with uh, learning more about uh, my family history, my real family history. Boop -a -doo -doo. I'm gonna sleep until dawn at least. And I'm happy you came to find me. Allow me to apologize once <laughs> as again. As expected. I should have spoken to you sooner, told you what I knew, and not betrayed your trust. You think? Indeed, you should have. Hmm. As I said, I'd like to make up for it and help you find your family again. How do you intend to do that? As you now know. I knew your mother. We had trouble communicating at first, of course, uh -huh. but we gradually learned to understand one another. She was important in her village. Was she? Based on what I know today, I think she was a Danegad. She told me her name, Arelwyn, and told me about her family. She even gave me a pendant for you. You were only a child, so I gave it to Mrs. Desade for sake. Oh, really? She gave me a necklace when I went to say goodbye to her. She said it was a family heirloom. Did my mother tell you the name of her village? No. But I'm sure the Norts can help us. They were the ones who took your mother to the continent. It was such a long time ago. How can I find out if they remember? The Nords record everything down to the gentlest breeze. That's true. They must have written something in a logbook somewhere. But where would it be? So, do you want to try and find out where you come from? Do you want to find your relatives? I mean, yes. <laughs> yes. All this is so new to me. But I suppose so, yes. Let's go then. All right. I don't know if I should take Siora or... Yeah, let's take Vasco out. We'll take Siora and Petrus. All uh, right, Admiral Cabral. Yeah, see, Kurt has a quest marker above his head again, too, so I guess we'll do Kurt's thing, too, eventually. All right, Admiral. You have come at the right time, Your Excellency. Have I? I am in a delicate situation, and your help would be invaluable. I'm listening, Admiral. Captain Reuben warned me that he suspected a member of his crew of being a spy. A spy for whom? It is almost certain she sent secret navigation information to foreigners. Which and foreigners? Me to take care of it. This is a very serious accusation. One that results in a member of the guild being expelled 
The Norts are like a family, very connected, but also likely to carry resentment. I think an external view is required to be certain that there will be no bias. Anyway, their ship is anchored at New Serene. Your authority will allow you to get more answers than us. I see. What is the exact nature of the information that could have been sent? It's up to you to find out. But all the Noughts know how we navigate our ships. You've seen the techniques we use, and you know we want to keep them secret. I agree. Where can I find Captain Rubin? At the port in your town. You know his ship. It was Captain Vasco's before he landed. I'm counting on you, Your Excellency. We must shed light on this case. Alright. But I also wanted to talk to you about this. I've come to talk to you about a personal matter. After what I revealed to you, I was sure you would come back to find me. What would you like to know? You told me that I was born on one of your ships. From a native captured on the island. We'd like to know about this woman's origins. I'm afraid I can't help you. I did not take part in those expeditions. And our old archives are far from here. Is there no one on Tia Fredi who can help us? Please. Very well. I do know an old captain who could perhaps help you out. Where can he be found? His ship is moored in the port of Hikmet, if I'm not mistaken. His name is Captain Lissandro. Thank you for your help, Admiral. De Sarde? Yes, Admiral? Don't get too caught up in the past. That one in particular. Nothing good will come out. Ooh. Whether or not we choose Dark. to get caught up in it, Admiral, <laughs> the past always catches up with us. Foreboding. Sadly, I'm paying the price of this. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're the one paying the price, Petrus. You're the one paying the price. The fuck? Dude? All right, Hikmet. Sure. Let's thank the enlightened that a captain who took part in these expeditions is right here on the island. <laughs> it is indeed a That's stroke of luck. That's a good place for you, Petrus. I hope he remembers my mother. Do not worry. If his memory fails him, he may have kept his diary from that time. Possibly, possibly. All right, let's go find this guy. Where should I find this guy? Let's go left. And left. And... This way... Aha! Ah, hello. Hello there. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. I am Captain Lissandro. Pleased to meet you. I don't believe I've had the pleasure before. Yet your face seems familiar. How odd. Well, what can I do for you? Hmm. I have some other stuff to talk to him about first, so let's do that. Well. Oh, I know it all right. I've been mooring my ship here for over 15 years. It's a safe harbor, well protected from the winds and away from the reefs. And before that? Before? I don't really know what you mean. Before, there was nothing but the coast itself, I imagine. Okay. Did you know the island before all the colonists arrived? Yes. Now that's going back a bit, and it isn't a topic for somebody who isn't one of our own. So tell me what it was like when the Alliance first began to settle here. It was still wild, dangerous, and very beautiful. But all that has changed now. Okay. Did you see the city being built? Almost before my very eyes. I saw it grow as fast as you're breathing right now. But it was barely more than a port and a couple of huts surrounded by forest in the beginning. And then the trees began to come down. 
and the houses began to sprout up. It happened at a crazy pace, but I'm not sure that many good things came of all that change. Hmm. Okay. Well, yes. Admiral Cabral advised me to speak to you about a matter of some concern to me. The Admiral? Coming from a legate, I should have expected that. So? You're the only one on this island that can help me. Really? Oh, I think I understand. That's why your face looked familiar. The congregation is good at keeping its secrets, isn't it? This story is not a new one. Twenty-five years. Twenty-five years since the Noughts brought a woman who was captured on this island to Serene. I remember. And yet it wasn't the first time. But on that occasion, a child was born. So you can understand why we'd like to learn where this captive came from. Yes, yes. I have seen more than a few Noughts looking for their parents. But what have you got to do with all this? I met that woman in Serene. I got to know her... well. Listen, it's not that I don't want to help you, but my memory is no longer what it was. I wasn't the captain at the time. I wasn't the one who decided where we moored the ship. So I don't see how I can help you find out where this woman came from. Um... You said it yourself, Captain. You've come across more than a few noughts looking for their parents. Sea-born, sea-given. All of them were torn from their roots, even if they found a new family. And you've clearly had the same experience. Absolutely. You are indeed the child that was born on our ship. Mm -hmm. You speak like one of our own. Very well. I need to look in my old logbooks. I'm sure I'll find something. Wait for me here. I'll be an hour at the most. Okay. Here it is. I found my old logbook. There's a passage in it that would probably interest you. Your mother came from a village on the plains in the southeast of the island. I'm talking about a place where the bones of the whale are visible from the coast. Hmm. I believe the natives call it Vignamri. Thank you for this information, Captain. It's nothing. I'm getting sentimental in my old age. <laughs> Good luck to you. So here yeah, you are. I've been the there. Of discovering your mother's village, of finding your own people. How do you feel? I don't really know. I'm a little lost, I suppose. All of this is so new to me. I understand. Mrs. Desade was loving. She raised you with tenderness. And today you learn she is not your real mother. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make her less... <sighs> you know, like... Real mother is kind of, um... Uh, it's kind of a fraught idea, honestly. Like... Is your real mother the your um oh uh is your real mother the person who gave birth to you or is your real mother the person who raised you um and i think for you know a lot of people for whom those for whom, you know, the person who gave birth to them and the person who raised them are different people. Um, I would say that's probably up to, you know, individual people to decide. Yeah, let's go talk to Olin, I guess.
To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Well... I recently found out that my mother came from your village. Your mother was from Vignamri? Now I understand why your face seems so familiar to me. Indeed. She was captured before my birth and sent to the continent. She was called Arelwyn. Did you know her? Of course. Everyone here remembers her kidnapping. Could you tell me more about that? I was not the head of the clan back then. It was a very long time ago. Mm -hmm. But I remember the village the Nagad. Kidnapped by the people of the sea. All our warriors set off to her rescue. But it was all in vain. Most of them died. Including the one she loved. It was a dark day. In which our village lost its knowledge and strength in one blow. So my father died too. Do you know if any members of my family are still alive? Yes. Slan. Your mother's sister. She then became our Donegad. She was never able to match her sister's talent. Too much knowledge had been lost. Relwyn was a renowned healer. Across all of Tiafradi, taking her place was not an easy task. It's not surprising that she was of interest to the congregation. They probably hoped she could help them find a cure for the Malachor. But all alone, far from the island, she was just a young, frightened woman who had lost all her powers. Do you know where I can find my aunt? You could try her house, but she's rarely there. She is an elderly woman now, and very much enjoys her own company. She doesn't speak much to me, but others here can probably tell you where to find her. Thank you, Ulan. Anything else? Uh, nope, that should do it. Nothing. I must go. Okay, let's track her down. He seems quite friendly, compared to the others we've run into. A bit too friendly, if you ask me. A little too concerned with pleasing the settlers. And do you think that's a bad thing? He reminds me of myself when I was younger. And that's not a compliment. My fear is that he serves his own ambition. Mm -hmm. And this is often done at the expense of others. Uh, you're not wrong, Petrus. You're not wrong. Uh, especially given the little storyline we had with him. There's no one here. Let's go and ask the inhabitants of the village if they know where to find her. The islanders protect their Donegad. I don't know if they'll speak to some Renaixe. Don't forget, you are one of them after all. Mm-hmm. We shall see, we shall see. Hello. Renaikse. Do you need help, Renaikse? Actually, yes. I am looking for the village Donegad. Oh. And what do you want from her? Ulan told me that she could help me to find someone. <laughs> Ulan must have wanted to play a dirty trick on you. There's no love lost between Ulan and the Denegad. She says that he loves the people from your island too much. But Ulan saved our village. Anyway, if you want to find her, try heading towards the western plains. I am not sure if she is there right now, but she likes going for walks there. I am extremely grateful. Alrighty. I think we'll go this way. Uh 
Uh, oh, no. I don't want to do that. No. Do you need something? Uh, no, no, no. I, don't. I must leave you. See you later. I need the loot. That's that's what I need. This loot. Yep, that too. And all of that. Yep. 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 Okay. There's a woman over there, surrounded by animals. It looks like she may be in danger. Let's go and help. It's got to be her. Maybe in life you protect me in this moment. Take a potion. No magic. our enemies. Your magic is running out. Take a potion. Well, thank you for stepping in. I don't understand what has happened. Usually these animals accept me. Something must have frightened them. We are glad we arrived at the right time. We would have been very upset if something had happened to you. Excuse me, but are you Slan, the Donegad of Vignamri? Yes. That's me. Were you looking for me? Yes, we were. If you would allow us, we'd like to accompany you and tell our story along the way. Very well. I will walk by your side. This is the story we have pieced together. I... I just can't believe it. Yet, if I think about it, your face reminds me of hers. My mother, or better, the woman who raised me, gave me this necklace. A Relwyn gave it to me, to give to her child, and I passed it on to Mrs. Desade. It looks familiar. Your father had given it to your mother when they bound. Hmm. It's good that you are wearing it today. My poor beloved Relwyn. Who died far away from us all and divorced Tirsay. I still miss her so much. I. She wanted me to help her die. But I was unable to do such a thing. Someone would have figured it out. I would have been sent back to Tuleme and I would have lost everything. So I watched her suffer. And one day she died. Petrus, I cannot hold it against you for letting her live. Fascinating. No, you don't understand. I loved her. I loved her and I didn't even have the strength to end her suffering. Mm -hmm. She's the only woman I've ever loved. I... I never would have guessed. I did. Everyone <laughs> loved She was marvelous. <laughs> you cannot blame yourself. Man of the light. What's more, you brought me her child. For that alone, 
She would forgive you if she were among us. All is well now. The child of Tia Fradi has returned home, and with him, the spirit of his mother. You are home, my Duke Taram. Welcome. Petrus, I wanted to thank you. Thank me? Despite everything you know about me? You may have been a bit cowardly in the past. Yeah. Instead of letting the woman you love suffer. A little suffer. bit. You were manipulative and you lied to everyone, including yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I do. Thanks to what you've told me, I've been able to find my family and my origins. And for that, I thank you. My child, what you're saying touches me more than you can imagine. At least I've done something good for once in my deceitful life. For you and for her. I hope the Enlightened will remember this when I stand before him. Hmm. Well, there we go. Awesome. And I think it's time to end the episode. So, yeah, I'll leave it here. As always, if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Later.